It's that zest, she go, no, she must flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rumors of a new Shelby GT500 have been bubbling for a few months now, and today, they've grown in intensity. The Truth About Cars reports on information found on Ford's OEM service portal that seems to confirm some details on the 2019 GT500. If these prove true, the GT500 will be a monster. TAC found wiring diagrams and service procedures detailed for the GT500 on Ford's service portal that make references to parts unique to this car. The speedometer verification procedure is particularly interesting, since it seems to reveal that the GT500 will have a 200 mph top speed. Apparently the speedo will read up to 214 mph as well. Information on brake system warnings that appear on the gauge cluster reveals that the GT500 will have carbon ceramic brake pads, a first for a Mustang. The GT500 will also apparently have three drive modes, drag strip, launch control, and weather, unique to this model. A rendering with a wiring diagram shows a big supercharger on top of the GT500's V8, and TAC notes that it doesn't have the hardware needed for direct fuel injection. TAC also spotted a flex plate instead of a flywheel on this engine rendering which seems to confirm that the GT500 will be offered with an automatic transmission of some sort. The most likely candidate is the new 10-speed Ford and GM co-developed, which is already used in the F-150 Raptor and the GT500's most obvious rival, the Camaro ZL1. All of this sounds very good, but TAC uncovered some potentially sadder news in Ford's Van Decoder. What they found shows that the 2019 Mustang will only be offered with three engines, this supercharged V8, the naturally aspirated 5.0-liter V8, and the 2.3-liter EcoBoost. In other words, the GT350's 5.2-liter naturally aspirated screamer isn't one of the ones listed. We're hopeful it